Crime is inevitable in human society, so we created a system where we find and punish these criminals, but some criminals are yet to go through that system. This video shows 10 criminals who committed the most heinous crimes and are getting away with it. Before we begin, make sure you like this video and you hit the subscribe button. Let's begin. Alexis Flores Alex Flores is on the FBI's top 10 most wanted fugitives. Born on July 18 in Philadelphia, Alex is a child rapist and murderer. He's a Honduran fugitive for kidnapping, raping, and murdering 5-year-old Iriana de Jesus in Pennsylvania. In addition, he survived the second deadliest Atlantic hurricane, Hurricane Mitch, and as a result, he has a scar on his neck. In the year, a man named George Contreras gave shelter to a homeless guy named Carlos, also called Carlo, who was none other than Alex Flores. Alex changed his name that time. He gave him food, shelter, and clothing. He lived in a garage basement. A missing report was filed on a five-year-old girl named Iriana de Jesus. Three days later, her body was wrapped in a trash bag in Carlos's garage basement. She was raped, strangled, and killed. A shirt with the girl's blood was found at the crime scene. When George Contreras was asked, he said he gave Carlo the shirt. In 2002, a man was arrested for shoplifting in Arizona. And in 2004, the same guy was arrested when the neighbor made a noise complaint. When the police entered his house, they found a forgery device. He was arrested for giving a fake identity, and then in 2005 he was released and deported back to Honduras. This man was Alex Flores. Then who is Carlo? Well, be ready to be surprised. In 2006, Alex Flores' DNA was added to the combined DNA index system. In 2007, his DNA was matched with the homeless man Carlo. Unfortunately, Carlo and Alex Flores are the same man. He was added to the FBI's top 10 most wanted fugitive list in 2007. He's armed and dangerous. The FBI's also announced $100,000 for anyone who's willing to help find him. Ruha Plamenova Ignatova If you're interested in cryptocurrency, then you definitely heard this name. Ruha Plamenova Ignatova was added to the FBI's most wanted fugitive list in 2022. She's responsible for the biggest scam in history, as per the Times. Bulgarian-born, the German fraudster is infamous as the founder of the fraudulent cryptocurrency OneCoin. In addition, she's charged with wire fraud, money laundering, and securities fraud. She's a highly educated criminal with a PhD in private international law from the University of Constance in Germany. She's also studied at the University of Oxford, England. She later married a German doctor and also had a daughter. She received 14 months imprisonment for fraud and the acquisition of a company which later declared bankruptcy. In addition, she received a 14-month suspension sentence. This fraud case was also linked to her father, Plamen Ignatov. If this was all, Ruha wouldn't have made the top 10. She was also involved in a multi-level marketing scam in 2013 called OneCoin. Then in 2017, the biggest scam in history, Bitcoin, came into the picture. It was a Ponzi scheme where the more you investigate, the more money laundering evidence is found. She's also the subject of BBC's podcast episode, The Missing Crypto Queen. The FBI has announced a $100,000 reward to anyone who gives information leading to arrest. Michael Pratt Michael Pratt is the owner of the now-banned website Girls Do Porn. It's a pornography website where they would advertise on Craigslist for modeling auditions. Women who responded to this fake advertisement were asked to perform sexual acts in front of the camera. They were promised to be given $2,000 to $5,000. They were also promised that the videos would never be released on the internet or be released in the USA. They were told that the videos would be sold as DVDs in South America, New Zealand, and Australia. But none of these promises were kept. The victims were also made to sign the document, which nowhere mentioned the website's name. According to the statement of an ex-employee, most women were not paid, and the shooting went on for seven hours. The Department of Justice reported that at least one was raped, and most were sexually assaulted. Michael Pratt worked as a cameraman for many videos uploaded on the site. The site was also nooked after a money laundering case. Michael started working in the pornographic industry after graduating high school. The revenue generated through the site is said to be 17 million US dollars, and Pratt is the sole receiver of this revenue. Lawyer Kerry Goldberg raised questions about the site to the Cyber Intelligence Department, leading to Michael Pratt's unmasking. He's now charged with child pornography, sex trafficking, and fraud. He was added to the FBI's most wanted fugitive list in 2020. 
Alejandro Rosales Castillo. Born in November 1998, this man was 17 years old when he murdered his co-worker and ex-girlfriend, Truquan Sandy Lile. They both dated for a while, however, their relationship was short-term, and he started dating Ahima Feaster, another colleague. Lei had loaned Castillo some money. One day, Castillo texted Lei that he would return her money and asked him to meet at Quick Trip. Lei was last seen at Quick Trip. Her bank statement shows that she withdraws $1,000 through an ATM. It's believed that later, he drove her to Carabas County and shot her in the head. In the aftermath of the murder, Castillo and Feaster went to Arizona in Lai's car, which was later found abandoned near the bus stop. Then they crossed the border to Mexico, as seen in the footage. Castillo is fluent in English and Spanish. It's still believed that he lives in Mexico and Aguacalientes. He made it to the FBI's most wanted list in 2020, and the FBI has announced a $1,000 reward to anyone who helps the intelligence to find him. Jose Rodolfo Virael Hernandez This man is said to be responsible for many murders in Mexico. He made it to the most wanted list in 2020. He's a drug cartel boss and is wanted for orchestrating the murder of Juan Jesus Guerrero Chapa in South Lake, Texas. Born in 1978, he was the leader of the Beltran Leva cartel. Three people linked to the murder have been arrested since the investigation, and two of them are assassins. According to the sources, Guerrero's sister started the feud by beheading Vera El Hernandez's relative and sending him a video of his head. Badresh Kumar Chantebe Patel Badresh Kumar Chantebe Patel is one of the most wanted criminals. This man murdered his wife at Dunkin' Donuts, Hanover, Maryland in 2015. His wife's name was Palak. She was last seen at Newark Penn Station in New Jersey. Born in 1990 in the Gujarat state of India, married Palak in 2015. He murdered his 21-year-old wife when they were visiting their relatives. Palak and Patel were working at Dunkin' Donuts, owned by their relative. Both can be seen disappearing into the racks in their surveillance footage, and after a few moments, Patel emerges. It was later found that his wife had been beaten and stabbed several times. It said that the couple had arguments, and Palak wanted to return to India, while Patel wanted to stay in the US. The customers of Dunkin' Donuts were suspicious when they saw no employees in the shop. One concerned customer approached the police nearby. When examined, the police found the dead body of Palak, and the CCTV footage showed that Patel was the murderer. It took around one hour to figure out that he was the murderer, which gave him time to escape. Patel's visa was expired by the time he carried out the murder. As a result, the officials believe it was not possible for him to legally leave the country. Dawood Ibrahim India's most wanted criminal since 1993 Dawood Ibrahim is responsible for the burglary, drug trafficking, and organized crimes, and is a most wanted global terrorist. He's the drug kingpin of Mumbai. He started D Company, which heads the Indian organized crimes in 1980 in Mumbai. India designated him a global terrorist by India and USA and declared $25 million rewards to anyone who helped them find him. It's said that he lives in Karachi, Pakistan. The Indian government sold six of his properties in the Mravashata Nagariti. He was born to a Kokani Muslim family in Masharata in 1955. He dropped out of high school. In his teen years, he committed theft and robbery. He became the boss of his gang after his boss was killed by a rival gang. This gang is known as D Company. This company later brought in crores of revenue and had over 5,000 members. Daywood was linked for the Mumbai terror attack. From then, he's missing and all the fingers point at Karachi. Matteo Messina Denaro. He's a Sicilian mafia boss known as Diabolic. He got his name from the same named Italian comic book character. He's regarded as one of Cosa Nostra's new leaders following the arrest of Bernardo Prozavano on April 11, 2006, and Salvatore Lopicolo in November 2007. On April 12, 2001, Messina Denaro was featured on the cover of the magazine L'Espresso with the headline, Echo il nuovo capo della mafia, Here's the new head of the mafia, or Here's the new mafia boss. He's been on the most wanted list since 1993, and Forbes magazine ranks him as one of the world's top 10 most wanted criminals. Matteo Messina Denaro was born in Castelvetrano, Sicily, in the province of Trapani. His father, Francesco Messina Denaro, also known as Don Sizio, was the capo mandamento of Castelvetrano 
and the head of Trapani's region's Mafia Commission. Matteo learned to use a gun at the age of 14 and committed his first of many murders at the age of 18. It's estimated that he murdered at least 50 people. I filled an entire cemetery by myself, he once boasted. He made a name for himself by murdering Alcamo rival boss Vincenzo Milazzo and strangling Milazzo's three-month pregnant girlfriend. Following the bombings in Capazzi and Via D'Amelio that killed prosecutors Giovanni Falcone and Paola Borsellino, the arrest of Salvatore Rina on 15th of January 1993, and the implementation of a strict prison regimen, Cosa Nostra launched a terrorist campaign in which Mesa Denaro played a key role. On September 30th, 2021, TG2 broadcasted the first video of Messina Denaro. In December 2009, a security camera in the Valle de Belize area captured the sighting. This video shows a Mitsubishi Bajero driving through the valley with at least two people inside. Messina Denaro is said to be the front passenger. As a result, the Italian authorities launched a manhunt across Sicily in October 2021. Arnoldo Jimenez Arnoldo Jimenez is a fugitive from the United States, who was added to the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitive list on May 8, 2019. He's wanted for the May 2012 murder of his wife, Estrella Carrera, who was discovered dead in a bathtub at her apartment in Burbank, Illinois, the day after their wedding. Jimenez was the 522nd fugitive to be added to the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitive list. The FBI is offering up to $100,000 in reward money for information leading to his capture. Arnoldo Jimenez and Estrella Carrera were married at Chicago City Hall on May 11, 2012. Carrera had two children, one from a previous relationship, a nine-year-old daughter, and a two-year-old son with Jimenez. The couple ate dinner with a family and friends that night before going to a nightclub, which they left at around 4 a.m. on May 12. The FBI believes the couple got into a heated argument on the way home in Jimenez's black 2006 four-door Maserati. Jimenez then stabbed Carrera several times in his car before dragging her body into her apartment. Carrera's body was discovered in her apartment's bathtub, still dressed in the silver gown she wore to the wedding. Carrera was supposed to pick up her children from family members on May 12, but she did not appear. Her family then reported her missing to the police. On the afternoon of May 13, her body was discovered inside her apartment. There was no evidence of a forced entry, according to police. Jimenez had also vanished, and his car was gone missing. Jimenez was charged with first-degree murder three days later, and on May 15, an estate warrant was issued for his arrest. Then, on May 17, he was charged with unlawful flight to avoid persecution, and was served with a federal warrant. The FBI believes Jimenez is still alive and well in Durango, Mexico, specifically in the Santiago Papiscuaro area. However, he could also be hiding in Reynosa, Tamapulias, Mexico. Yulan Adonai Archaga Carias Adonai Yulan Archaga Carias is a Honduran fugitive and the suspected leader of the MS-13 gang in Honduras. On November 3, 2021, he was added to the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitive list. He's wanted for racketeering, drug trafficking, and firearms violations. Archaga Carrias is allegedly in charge of MS-13 in Honduras, and is suspected of supplying firearms, narcotics, and cash to gang members operating in the United States. He's also suspected of ordering the assassination of rival gang members. Officials believe he's still in Honduras. Archaga Carrias was the 526th fugitive to be added to the FBI's list of the 10 most wanted fugitives. He took the place of American fugitive Robert William Fisher, who was removed from the list because he no longer met the criteria. The FBI is offering up to $100,000 in reward money for information leading to his capture. Omar Alexander Cardenas Omar Alexander Cardenas is a fugitive from the United States, who is suspected of being a member of the Pierce Street Gang in LA. He was added to the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitives list on July 20, 2022. He's wanted for murder and unlawful flight to avoid prosecution, and authorities believe he fled to Mexico to avoid arrest. Cardenas was the 528th fugitive to be added to the FBI's list of the 10 most wanted fugitives. Eugene Palmer, who was removed from the list without being captured, was replaced by him. The FBI is offering up to $100,000 in reward money for information leading to his capture. Cardenas is accused of shooting and killing Jabali Dumas, 46, outside of the Hair Icon Barbershop in Los Angeles' Slimar neighborhood on August 15, 2019. 
According to LAPD Chief Michael Moore, Cardenas fired nine shots at Dumas from about 30 feet away, striking him in the head. Cardenas was seen fleeing in his vehicle and the victim died on the scene. It is unknown whether the suspect and victim knew each other before the shooting. In April 2020, Cardenas was charged with the murder. In September 2021, Cardenas was charged with unlawful flight to avoid prosecution. According to the FBI, Cardenas may have fled to Mexico or be in Southern California, where he has family and friends. According to the FBI, he may be working as a construction worker. So, this was our list of the top 10 most wanted criminals. We hope you liked the video. Let us know in the comments if you have any video ideas. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.